Hello and welcome to Unit 5, I'm Andre Taylor. Unit 5 focuses on team leadership. The functional approach to team leadership is adopted throughout this unit. And what that says is it focuses on the team leader's role and it says that the primary activity that a team leader has to take is to monitor the needs of the team and identify what the team needs at that particular point in time. So there might be a need to focus on tasks, perhaps set some objectives or clarify some roles. There might be a need to focus on relationships, perhaps manage some conflict. Or there might be a need to focus on the external environment, perhaps going out and bringing some resources into the team. So that's the functional approach to leadership. Another thing that this unit does is it explores different forms of leadership within teams, particularly what we call focused leadership, which as the name implies, focuses on the assigned team leader, the person that's officially in charge of the team. And we also look at the concept of shared or distributed leadership, where a number of people in the team contribute to leadership processes. The unit explores several conceptual models and frameworks that we can use to understand team leadership and, more importantly, identify opportunities that we can improve in team leadership, whether we are the assigned team leader or we're just a member of the team participating in some group-based leadership processes. The unit also highlights some features that are typically associated with high-performing teams. So there's been a lot of research done on that over the years and there's some common themes when we look at many different teams that are high performing in different fields. So that the unit describes those features and we can use that as an assessment framework to look at the teams that we're involved with and seeing if they're high performing and if not, what can we do as team leaders to strengthen that team. A couple of key messages. The first one for me is this unit is particularly relevant given the abundance of teams in our workplace. Also, team leadership, I find, is a particularly challenging form of leadership. You may, for example, have had some experience leading a virtual team where people are dispersed geographically, and that can be very challenging to engage in leadership in that sort of environment. So teams are more common, and it's a particularly challenging form of leadership. Team leaders also need to have a wide range of skills that they're comfortable using. So it's relevant and also challenging. This unit also provides some great tools that I frequently use. I'd particularly point to a conceptual model in the unit by Cogler Hill that I think is a tremendous tool to quickly examine what is needed from the perspective of a team leader. There's also a, a checklist or a questionnaire in the unit that can be used to quickly diagnose within a team what's going well, what could be improved in a group-based process, which is a very handy tool, particularly for teams that have been together for some time. So that's Unit 5. I hope you find it enjoyable and perhaps more importantly find some opportunities as you work through the unit to take away some actions to improve leadership within the teams that you're involved with.